Save me black Jesus. Um, but anyway, I wanted to come out here and do a quick review of, I don't even know what the damn foundation is, but I went to Sephora to try the Giorgio Armani uh, Power Fabric, the new-ish foundation for them, try to find a cover match. I don't always have a cover mat, a color match. Um, and the lovely lady at Sephora was so nice in telling me that that was not for me. She said, you know, if you have any kind of dry skin issues, that is not the foundation. It's meant for the, the oily girls. So, um, and you know, and she said, why don't you do luminous silk? And I was like, well, I've never had a color match. So she was like, well, let's play around and see. Now, I've been color matched to Giorgio Armani Maestro, and she said I could use a 10 or an 11. And, um, but I never did buy it because I found something else that cost less probably. Um, and then a couple of years ago, I tried to get color matched, whatever, to the Luminous Silk and they said I was not a match. I, uh, they said the closest match was 11.5, but every time I tried to put it on, I looked like I had mud on my face. It was just not right. So this young lady is like, no, 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 no you gotta try again. And she comes up and she goes, um, I don't know if you can see that, but she said, you need to try number 10. So I was like, really, I know you're really trying to make a sale here, but okay. So I was like, you know what? So I was like, you know what? Give me the sample. So I don't know what I did with it. It was here somewhere, but she gave me the sample, you know, the little tiny Sephora samples. She wrote it up and I am wearing it right now. Um, Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. I'm wearing it right now. Um, I think I kind of might have been a little too much for me. What was that? Anyway, so, um, yeah. Do you guys like this? I don't think it's too bad. I was, like, quite impressed. Anyway, so you know the drill. I've done these uh, videos before where I just try a new foundation and give you my thoughts. I've actually been wearing it for about the last couple hours. I tried to do my intro right after I had done up my face, but of course my camera was not working with me. Even now I'm probably a blurry mess, but such is life. Um, so yeah, so I'll put it in here where I'm putting it on and let me know what you guys think. Hi guys. So, like I said, I've done my eye makeup and that's about it. Uh, I also color corrected the bags my, under my eyes. I'm going to use this blender from L'Oreal. I've heard good things about it, so I'm pretty excited. Um, this is my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. It's very pink because my daughter was playing with it and I have yet to clean it, so it's a mess, but oh well. I am also using my, my monitor here as my viewfinder, so bear with me. Whoa, it's red. Is it red? It looks very red to me. But every foundation, except if it's, you know, very purposely neutral, looks very red to me. Um. <laughs> I'm not in love. Not gonna lie. But we just started. We haven't gotten far. We haven't powdered. We haven't done all that good stuff. So I'm going to stop and just kind of enjoy the process. funny feeling it doesn't even look that um, red but because I'm paranoid about red I think everything looks red I'm gonna stay calm 
Ah, uh, right. Okay. I'm not going to contour today. I'm just going to my kids' school. Contouring seems like overkill. Um, this this came in my lucky bag, my lucky gift bag from um. This is the Beautylish lucky bag. I noticed I haven't said that. Um, but if you shop from Beautylish a lot, then you run the chance of getting products you already own. So that's the thing. Okay, I'm all powdered. I'm all powdered. My eyes are already done. A little bit of blush. A very little bit of blush. Top it off with my fa one of my favorite lipsticks. Rouge Volute Shine number nine, which I didn't even realize. I haven't used it all. So fun times for me. I love to use it. Mm. There you go, needs a lip liner. Alright guys. Um I will take pictures as my day progresses and you can see what it looks like. Okay, I gotta run. I gotta really really run. No, I'm still not dressed. <laughs> what does it look like so far? Not too bad, right? Okay, I gotta go. Ugh, I gotta fix this mess over here. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna fix this mess. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I'm quite impressed with the color match. I don't think it's too bad. It's settled in. It's been about two or three hours. I've been out in the hot sun walking to and from my daughter's school, so if it was going to oxidize, I think it's already done that, and um, I'm looking at myself in the, my little viewfinder here, but I actually kind of like it. I've powdered, powdered, powdered because, um, you know, it's... it's uh, it's Arizona. It's hot. You gotta soak up the sweat, ish. Um, but yeah, my thoughts on this. I feel kind of ridiculous giving thoughts on this because I it's been out for so long and so many people love it and there's so many reviews. Um, and I really just wanted to do this because I always thought I didn't have a match, and of course I just didn't get properly matched. There's a difference. Um, so that's what. That's what I kind of wanted to talk about in this video is that, you know, sometimes you have to go back. I, I took her word for gospel when she tried 11 and a half and I really should have said to her, do number 10 because I think I would have bought this foundation. It's, everybody raves about it. It's the foundation. It's been out for years. It's like the holy grail. I mean, and I like the maestro, but, you know, I wanted it. I, that's too cheap. Yeah, I was just too cheap, I'm not even gonna lie. But you know, I just feel like I've been missing out for the last couple of years. So it just goes to show that even if someone is says, I don't think that's a match, you might wanna go back and, and double check because I'm really like, I like it. I do, I like it. Um, and I've tried a lot of foundations. Am I gonna buy it? I'm gonna wait for a sale because I'm cheap. And two, because I have about six foundations, so I'm in no rush for a new, new one. Um, but this would definitely go on the buy list. I'm quite um, pleased with it. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I powdered after I put it on. It's been a couple hours. I haven't felt the need to powder again. If I'm good. <laughs> yep, so that's what happens if I'm good. So thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you in my next video.